hello friends my name is mahavir and welcome to my channel today we will discuss peritoneal dialysis peritoneal dialysis is most important topics for nursing exams like norset in this video we will learn everything about peritoneal dialysis we will learn what is peritoneal dialysis types of peritoneal dialysis advantage and disadvantage of peritoneal dialysis indications and contraindications complications and procedure of ed and nursing responsibilities introduction to peritoneal dialysis peritoneal dialysis is also known as pd is it short form pd peritoneal dialysis is a renal replacement therapy what is renal replacement therapy renal replacement therapy when patient's kidney functions not work then functions of kidney are replaced by some other technique like hemodialysis peritoneal dialysis our kidney transplantation so pd is a renal replacement therapy which is used an individual with stage 5 kidney failure or terminal chronic kidney diseases in pd a sterile solution are infused in peritoneal cavity through a catheter peritoneal cavity is used as exchange surface for removal of solutes and water from the body there are many types of catheter used in pd but mostly there are two types of catheters one is flexible catheter and other is rigid catheter flexibles are mostly used and rigid mostly used in acute pd now what is the types of peritoneal dialysis there are two types of peritoneal dialysis one is cpd and second one is apd second one is apd first we will discuss about cpd cpd is continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis we you can see the continuous it means it is a continuous and ambulatory patient can ambulate patient can move and travel and do anything daily life activities so in in cpd peritoneal cavity is filled with a dialysis solution which is which may be 2 over 2.5 liter and fluid is changed 3 to 5 times a day at the interval of 4 to 8 hours the travel time may varies in patient's needs it may be 3 cycles it may be 6 cycles it may be 8 cycles according to need of the patients on and it is a manual process the cycles are performed manually and second is automated peritoneal dialysis automated peritoneal dialysis is performed by using a cycler machine yes here is the image of this cycler machine which automatically changes the every cycles when the patient is sleeping there are further divided in two types one is intermittent night pd this pd is performed during night time day time patient are free from any cycle patient there is no any solutions in their peritoneal cavity patient is patient can do anything full time and dialysis cycles are performed during night time when the patient is sleeping and second one is continuous cycling pd in this pd cycles are changed during the night but in day time patients abdominal cavity peritoneal cavity is filled with dialysis solution now advantage and disadvantage of peritoneal dialysis first one is peritoneal dialysis advantage is it is portable and can be provided anywhere it is portable and can be provided anywhere there is no need to go to hospital patient can perform himself or caregiver 
and second is pd constantly remove solute and water therefore allowing less restrictive diet when patient is on pd there is no need to follow strict diet plan pd provide greater preservation of residual renal functions so there is no any compromisation in renal residual functions during pd and there is no need for anticoagulant we used anticoagulant during st but in pd there is no need for anticoagulant and now we will discuss about this advantage first this advantage is it is a continuous therapy and more chances of infection it may be it catheter side or peritone peritoneal cavity structural changes in peritoneal membranes can occur due to the peritoneal dialysis solution the functions of peritoneal cavities may peritoneal membrane may be compromised poor control of poor control of glucose in hyperglycemic patients patient is hyperglycemic and we are using dialysis solution which contain glucose so it may increase blood glucose level in the patient next indications and contraindication what is the indications we first we will see what is the indications the indication is acute kidney injury or stage 5 kidney disease and second is can't perform sd like hemodynamically unstable patients when we can't perform sd in hemodynamically unstable patients suppose blood pressure of patient is very low then we can't perform sd in this situation we can perform pd so and contraindications in sense are uncorrectable surgical conditions like bladder extropy diaphragmatic hernia multiple peritoneal adhesion these are the absolute contraindication there some relative contraindications are ibd presence of recent bp shunts diverticulitis presence of abdominal vascular prostatitis and aki in pregnancy now complications complications of peritoneal dialysis there is most one is number one is catheter dysfunctions catheter dysfunction means like suppose that there, there is leakage from catheter side leakage our positive cumulative valence there are the examples of catheter dysfunction hernia when we infuse the dialysis solution in peritoneal cavity then abdominal pore pressure is increases then abdominal or organs hai may be go from one cavity to other cavity and causes hernia hydrothorax hydrothorax also may occurs in peritoneal dialysis because peritoneal fluids may be move from peritoneal cavity to pleural cavity due to the any malformation or congenital malformation of the diaphragm and edema fluid overload may occurs and may cause pulmonary edema weight gain also can occurs and hyperglycemia we already said and an infection like peritonitis which is most serious complication this question are asked in many of previous exams so it is most important thing the procedure of peritoneal dialysis is simple we need dialysis fluid transfusion tubing drainage bag to perform peritoneal dialysis in this image you can see a flexible catheter which is connected to the transfer set transfer set have a disposal cup to infuse dialysis solution transfusion 
tube are connected to the transfer set and infuse peritoneal fluid is prescribed by the doctor. Once inflow volume is achieved, transfusion tube is disconnected and clamped. After dwell, after dwell time to drain out the fluid, we have to unclamp drainage tube and then drain it out. Repeat cycle is prescribed by the doctor. Now, what is our nursing responsibilities during peritoneal dialysis? Peritoneal chart monitoring and recording. Peritoneal chart monitoring and recording. There are peritoneal chart. Suppose that, suppose that it is a chart, a peritoneal chart. Here is serial number. And there are many columns like in time in volume dwell time out time out volume balance and remark Suppose that there is cycle number one in time is 3 p.m. and in volume is 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. In volume is 2 liter. Dwell time is 30 minutes. So time will be 3.30 to 4 p.m. And out time will be suppose that out time is 30 minutes then 4 p.m. to 4.430 p.m. In out mode, out volume, suppose that the out volume is 1800 ml, then balance will be positive 200 ml. And remark if you add any medication, then you can note here. If there is any deviation in balance, suppose that you infuse 2 liter and get only 1 liter, then it may be catheter dysfunction and there is compromisation in cumulative positive and negative balance, then inform to doctor immediately. Assess for the infection, monitor vitals, check for fluid overload and pulmonary edema. It was for Peyton